This is awesome so far. For centuries, people have wondered how to make kid-powered flight possible. Ken and I are writers, producers, and directors. We work in Fountain Square. And a while back, 2007, we noticed a need that made us want to help kids learn about creative writing. So we founded Second Story. And we're working now to establish a home in Fountain Square. Yeah, um, we're actually deeply involved in the Fountain Square neighborhood. We work there, we pay rent there. Um, we started an event there a few years ago called Tonic Ball that's become one of the cities. Thank you very much. And you know, this slide has been up for, oh, there's our slide. Um, um, we established Tonic Ball about eight years ago. It's become one of the city's uh, favorite music and art events in the last eight years. And we've worked hard to bring people to this, you know, really kind of quirky part of town where we work all day. Um, and we love it there. We're really emotionally invested in Fountain Square. That's right. And so the question is, can, can kids really fly? We kind of think so. And all they really need is a great neighborhood, a place where they can find their sense of wonder and really spark their creativity where their parents can hang out or feel comfortable leaving them. It's a bookshop and a coffee shop that's also home to Second Story. And that's why we're here tonight. Yeah, so what is Second Story? We're a 501c3 corporation. We've been around for a couple of years. We're a creative writing program for kids. We have a great board. We have a real strong board. Some of you are out here tonight. Give yourselves a little round of applause. We've had great support from the Indianapolis Foundation and State Farm to get our programming off the ground. And we've had really strong support from IPS as well. Our inspiration to start Second Story came from the 826 in San Francisco, 826 Valencia, founded by the novelist Dave Eggers right there. Uh, it's a real place. It's engaging kids and adults every day in the Mission District. Uh, they have a pirate supply shop in the front of the writing center, uh, and they do their center in the back, and it sort of shares the same spirit as Fountain Square, and we fell in love with it right away. Yeah, so we don't have a home in Fountain Square yet, so we've had to take our programming to the kids. We've done programs in schools, we've done programs in community centers after schools, summer camps, we've written books with the kids like Hot Baked Cheetos, and it's really amazing to see um, kids when they see their names on the books, it's really inspiring to see how they connect with the world. That's right. It really seems to open them to new possibilities. They blossom in ways they never really seem to, to, to think possible, and they're very much more open to learn all kinds of new things. Uh, and what we seem to have found in most of our kids is that they never before considered themselves to be writers, and a lot of them even said they hate writing. But through Second Story, they've really uh, found that writing can be a heck of a lot of fun. Yeah, even reading can be a lot of fun. You know, you can't swing a briefcase in this town without hitting someone who wants to teach kids how to read. And that's great. <laughs> reading is awesome. <laughs> but it's only half of literacy. Writing is the other half. And there aren't many people who are actually teaching kids to write. And that's what we're doing at Second Story. It's a little harder, um, but we think it's really important. A lot of the schools struggle to teach writing, and that some of the teachers we've talked to said that they don't even have the confidence in their own skills to teach it. Uh, and writing can be tough to test. It's tough to really uh, find metrics in something that's so subjective. But we feel that there's no better way to help kids exercise their imaginations and see the world in a new way than through creative writing, and that's what we're doing. Yeah, and we think Fountain Square is the perfect place for it. It's a great arts community. There are all kinds of great new businesses moving in. There's really a positive spirit, spirit of community in Fountain Square. Um, the new fountain is going up. The cultural trail is coming down. Thank you, Brian, for the cultural trail. And it's still a little scruffy, which is pretty cool for kids. Yep, we just need a daytime gathering place that sparks conversation and community. A bookshop and a coffee shop in front. It sells second story stuff that the kids create. And in the back is our writing center. It's a safe place for kids, a friendly place for adults, and a place the whole entire community in Fountain Square and around can call its own. $10,000 will help us create this great place for kids and parents and neighbors and educators. It'll help us buy the furniture and the fixtures and the equipment and the inventory we need to serve the neighborhood while we're serving these kids. And, you know, just to let you know, we're not really trying to teach kids to be writers, but, you know, you could do worse. There are a lot of cool things you can do when you're a writer. Are you ready, Mr. Mays? Yep. You can write a three or an acceleration. 
You can tweet a couple to the entire nation. What would you do out of the blue today? You can write a movie for Dakota Fanning. You can write commercials with Peyton Manning. What would you do out of the blue today? You know there's kids who need a platform they can fly from. And some adults who need a place to hang out. The friendly people to buy from. You can write a story about what's happening now. You can write a poem about a purple cow. What would you do? Out of the blue today. Ah, second story. We can see you now. We can smell the coffee brewing. <laughs> we have the vision. Now we just need the dough. You know we're not too bright, and some might say we're crackers. We're just trying to teach some kids to fly And we could use 10,000 smackers You can write a speech about hope and glory You can write a song about the second story What would you do out of the blue today? What would you do out of the blue today? Writing process in Fountain Square. Help us build our writing center, please. Thanks a lot. Show of hands. Who's on the second story board or been a part of hey, second story in here? There you go, Mookie, us. everybody. See any one of us who's been involved with second story. Help us build this great place for kids. Help us build this next inspiring place in Indianapolis. And before we quit, lots of people ask us, Where'd you get the name Second Story? Because from the second story, kids can fly. Thank you. Hey, I'm working here, Duncan. <laughs>